channel. Like I said before, my name is uh, Rumi Okado. I'll be doing a series of uh, civil engineering tutorials, basic principles, basic formulas, just along that line, civil engineering at large. We have structural work, civil works. I'll be doing that. And uh, this is just tutorials for basic knowledge that will help you jumpstart you towards your career journey. And so for that, today I want us to talk about a uh, very crucial material in engineering. And uh, this material today is uh, concrete. Concrete uh, in civil engineering is uh, a material that is mostly used and uh, it's uh, among the oldest, if I'm not wrong, the oldest materials in engineering world. And so just understanding what concrete is, is uh, of major use in your day-to-day -day activity as an engineer. So today I want us to talk about concrete. So what is concrete? Maybe if somebody asks you what is concrete, what can you say? Concrete is, is a mixture of cement. Water, fine aggregates, and glucose aggregates. So the mixture of all this is what we call concrete. It's a mixture of cement, water, fine aggregates, and cause aggregates. But in our local area, in our locality, fine aggregates we use, we normally use sand, and cause aggregates can be gravel. But the normal one that is highly used is the uh, ballast area. So you can define concrete as a mixture of cement, water, sand and coarse aggregates depending on the coarse aggregates that you will be using so once we know that uh, these mix up concrete then we need to know the functions of all these so in concrete cement and water act as a binder for sand and ballast so the cement and the water react to form a binder of all these materials to form a very hard material at the end of it. So once we mix all this, the cement and the water will bind everything together to form a very hard material. And that material is what we call concrete. And then there are advantages of concrete. We find that concrete is mostly used because of its advantages. And the advantages of concrete One advantage of concrete is that it has mechanical strength. Concrete is very strong in compression. It's, it has a very strong compressive strength. So under this mechanical strength of concrete, we have compression. Concrete has a very strong mechanical strength. That is one advantage when you use concrete. Another one is that concrete can resist adverse weather conditions. Concrete can resist harsh, harsh weather, hot, cold, 
COVID can resist that. So that is another advantage of COVID. And then COVID is cheap compared to other materials in engineering. COVID is cheap. When you compare with other materials like reinforcements, you'll find out that concrete is uh, very cheap to use. That is another advantage of concrete. So we've seen some of the advantages of concrete. Another thing that I want to talk about in concrete is what we call glasses. Glasses of concrete. When we talk of something called glass of concrete or a grade of concrete, mostly we mean the strength. The strength that the concrete will have after 28 days cure. So, an example if somebody talks of class 30 of concrete, that means that after 28 days of curing the concrete, the concrete should have a strength of 30 newton per millimeter square so when somebody asks you what are some of the classes of concrete he means like what will be the strength of that concrete after 28 days curing so you realize that when we're designing as engineers we usually design our structures we design for compression we design for tension and when we are doing those designs we have to do some concrete mix design so that one will give you the grade of concrete or class of concrete that you will use and the grade of concrete is what I'm saying is just strength of concrete that is expected after 28 days. So I want to show you the major, the mostly used grades of concrete or classes of concrete and their mix ratios. An example is we have like you can see we have glass. Class 10 concrete. When we talk of class 10 concrete, this means that this is concrete that after 28 days, the concrete will have a compressive strength of 10 newton per millimeter squared. After 28 days of curing, the concrete will have this strength. So there are various classes of concrete and uh, they are of various uses. You cannot just use any class for uh, given structure. So the different classes of concrete have different uses. So an example is class 10. Like we said, concrete is a mixture of cement, sand, and aggregates. So I will be giving you examples of these aggregates, but in most cases I'll be using ballast. That is the mostly used aggregate in around my area. So like if you have class 10 in my area, class 10 has a ratio of cement to sand to ballast of 1 to 4 to 8. That is the ratio. So when you mix in this kind of class, you will have one part cement, four parts sand, eight parts ballast. That is class 10. Then you have, we also have class 15. Class 15. Concrete, when somebody talks of concrete class 15, basically it just means that the concrete will have a compressive strength of 15 newton per millimeter squared after 28 days curing, that is what it means. And the ratio for this, the cement, sand, 
balanced ratio. The cement sand balanced ratio for this concrete class is 1 to 3 to 6. We can see that in all these classes of concrete, the part of cement remains the same, but the mixture of aggregates, the final aggregates and the cost aggregates is what is changing. That is what causes the difference in concrete strength. So we realize that concrete is made of cement, sand, ballast and water. And we said in the beginning that it is cement and water that binds the concrete. So when we are reducing this and increasing the amount and maintaining the amount of cement, that means that we are just even making a more hard substance. So the higher the class, the stronger the cohesive strength of concrete. And then we have class 20. Again, class 20 just means that after, after curing the concrete for 28 days, the concrete will have, the concrete should be having 20 newton per millimeter square compressive strength. That is what it means. And the ratios for this, the ratio of cement to sand to ballast, is 1 to 2 to 4. That is what that means. So this, knowing these ratios is very key. We should know each class of concrete and the ratios that are used for those classes. Same as the other classes, just means after 28 days curing, the concrete should have 25 newton per millimeter square compressive strength. So the ratio of this class, the ratio of cement to sand to ballast is one to one and a half. Two, three. These are the ratios. So in case you are mixing such a class in, a, in your site or in a batching plant, you should have the ratios, you should know the ratios so that you know how to go about it. And then we have another class that is majorly used is class 30. And the cement to sand to ballast ratio. So just knowing this ratio is a major deal because when you are on site, you should know how to mix your concrete so that you, your end product will be the class that, that was designed for the concrete. So these, these are some of the basic knowledge when you want to go about classes of concrete. And then you realize that the various classes have different use. An example, you cannot use like class 10 concrete for structural elements like beams and the columns. That is not okay. So you find that mostly you can use class 25 for structural concrete like uh, in beams and in columns and slabs or even class 20. Then you find that mostly we use class 15 for blinding. So the next lesson we will learn about uh, the various places where we can use the different kinds of concrete classes. I hope this knowledge helps you and don't forget to subscribe and
bye for now welcome back again next time